Good morning, virtual learners! Welcome back to another session of Valenzuela Facebook Live. My name is Teacher RV, and I will be your virtual teacher in English for today. For your attendance, please type your name and your school. I will give you three minutes for your attendance for today. Thank you for joining me today in our class. Our lesson is all about composing descriptive sentences using different kinds of adjectives. For this lesson, we will determine what an adjective is, we will identify its forms, and we will use adjectives in sentences. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, I would like to share with you a good news. If you're active in social media, maybe you have read the post of Valenzuela City. Valenzuela City introduces its newest project, and that is the Fatima Avenue. I would like to give you a virtual tour around Fatima Avenue. Do you want to join me? Hop in! First is, we have Museo Valenzuela. Museo Valenzuela is one of the city's main historical and cultural landmarks. It houses a vast collection of artifacts. It traces Valenzuela's rich history. It is also a choice venue for historical and cultural and artistic events. 
The Museo Valenzuela has an impressive architecture and preserved Spanish culture. Next, we have the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima. It is a major pilgrimage site for Catholics. It was declared as a national shrine to foster greater devotion to Our Lady of Fatima in the Philippines. Our Lady of Fatima is the patroness of the city of Valenzuela. Last, we have the street which is surrounded with decades-old trees providing shade and cool breeze to everybody. Soon, the Fatima Avenue will be closed to vehicles, making it pedestrian-friendly while maintaining health and safety guidelines. I hope you enjoyed our virtual tour for today. Let's take a look at these examples. So these are the descriptive words that I use for those landmarks. Number one, Museo Valenzuela has preserved Spanish aesthetics. Number two, the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima is famous. Number three, Fatima Avenue is surrounded by decades-old trees. These descriptive words are what we call adjective. Now, what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun. It tells us what kind, which one, how many, how much, or whose. For the first example, Museo Valenzuela has preserved Spanish aesthetics. What do you think is the word that describes the word aesthetics? What kind of aesthetics was preserved in Museo Valenzuela? You can comment your answer. Very good. We have the word Spanish. The word Spanish modifies the noun aesthetics. And have you noticed? The word Spanish is written with a capital letter at the beginning. It is because the word Spanish is a proper adjective. What is a proper adjective? A proper adjective is an adjective formed from a proper noun. A proper noun is a name of a particular person place or thing. It always begins with a capital letter. For example, if it is a name of a person, let me have the name of Dr. Pio Valenzuela. We will write it using a capital letter at the beginning. For the name of the place, we have Fatima Avenue, written using a capital letter F and capital letter A. And for the thing, we have Sampaguita. Going back to the word Spanish, the word Spanish was derived from the proper noun Spain. That's why it is a proper adjective. For the second sentence, the National Shrine of Fatima is famous. Now, what do you think is the adjective that I used for that sentence? You can comment your answer. Okay, great. We have the word famous. And the word famous modifies or describes the National Shrine of Fatima. I also highlighted the linking verb is to show you that we have the adjective right after the linking verb. If you can see that kind of adjective in a sentence, you call it as a predicate adjective. A predicate adjective is an adjective that follows a linking verb and modifies a subject. In that case, the linking verb is the word is. And our subject is the National Shrine of Fatima. For the third example, we have Fatima Avenue is surrounded by decades-old trees. This time, let me see. Can you figure out the adjective used in that sentence? Wow, I'm surprised. Very good. Okay, we have decades old. The word de decades old uh, modifies the noun trees. 
If you notice, decades old is composed of two words that we join together using a hyphen. And we call it now as a compound adjective. A compound adjective is an adjective formed when two or more adjectives were joined together to modify the same noun. For example, we have decades and another word is old. And we modify the same noun which is the trees. Okay, so this term should be hyphenated to avoid confusion or ambiguity. I think you are now ready for our activity for today. It's very easy because all we need to do is to figure out the kinds of adjectives used in the sentences. We have the predicate adjective, compound adjective, and proper adjective as our option. Number one, I love Hungarian sausage. What kind of adjective is the word Hungarian? I will give you 15 seconds to answer my question. The correct answer is proper adjective. For number two, we have Liza Soberano is pretty. What kind of adjective is the word pretty? Great job! The correct answer is, it functions as a predicate adjective. How about the third sentence? The good-looking actor has a new TV commercial. The good-looking actor has a new TV commercial. What kind of adjective is the word good-looking? Let me see your answer in the comment section. Correct! We have compound adjective. How about for this next sentence? Do you speak Cebuano dialect? Do you speak Cebuano dialect? What kind of adjective is the word Cebuano? The correct answer is, it is a proper adjective. And for the last number, we have, a dog is a four-legged animal. What kind of adjective is the word four-legged? Let us check. The correct answer is, it is a compound adjective. Please count the number of correct answers and share it with us in the comment section. Let me see your scores. Very good. Five, four, three. Okay, great job for everybody. Now, I have here the summary of today's class. So, an adjective is a word that modifies a noun and a pronoun. It tells us what kind, which one, how many, how much, or whose. So, we studied the different kinds of adjectives for today. And we have proper, predicate, and compound adjective. A proper adjective is an adjective formed from a proper noun. 
while a predicate adjective is an adjective that follows a linking verb and modifies a subject. And last, a compound adjective is formed when two or more adjectives are joined together to modify the same noun. Don't forget to use a hyphen to avoid confusion or ambiguity. It's time for you to ask me questions related to our lessons for today. I will give you three minutes to type your questions and timer starts now. Okay, we have question number one. Teacher RV, can we use many adjectives in a sentence? My answer is yes. You can use as many adjectives as you can in one sentence or in describing a thing or a, a noun. So we, you can tell how, how much. Okay, you can tell the size, the shape, the color, even the origin. And then for the second question is, Teacher, can you give us a clue or tips on how to find out the different kinds of adjectives in the sentence? Um, I think uh, we will go back to our lesson. So for proper adjective, our clue is it always begins with a capital letter. And for a compound adjective, you can see a two or more words joined by a hyphen. And for the remaining adjective, which is the predicate adjective, your clue is it comes right after the linking verb. Okay? You can test that in your module later on. Okay? So, I hope I was able to answer all your questions for today. See you again next week.
And thank you so much for joining me in today's class. Please take good care and God bless.